Hello everyone, welcome to channel Geek Nepal. On the last video I did work on the direct move function, basically moving a value from the source register to a destination register, okay. Uh, we will begin with the same move function, okay. Uh, let's start by typing A, hit OK, now press I0, okay that would be our normally open contact and input zero okay let's add a move function here so basically yes to d source to destination move okay and move could be word integer double long and float okay it could be move not already and so let's move two to data register d2 okay Let's draw a line from here to here. Add one more. Already, and deselect the cursor. Let's copy this. Control C. Control V. Control V. Okay. Let's move three to D three. Okay, and let's move four. Four to D four. Okay. So this would be our direct move working with the word, which is word is always sixteen bit. So a. So if you are working with the float, that would be thirty two bit. Double would be thirty two bit. Okay. And let's do. Add one more on normally open contact and let's make this I1. Okay. And let's add a indirect move function. Okay. On here, indirect move can be applied to word, double, and float. Okay. Indirect move not and indirect move as a bit. Okay. So this is bit, so you don't have any option for the integer, double, float, those kind of things. Okay already so here yes one is the source register yes two is the offset which the value will be added to the the data register address okay so if we have d10 here and if you are adding two that would be d12 is the indirect address that you will be moving to destination register I will explain that by simulating the process okay let's say we have a d as a source register okay data register d10 is a source register and we want to add two okay to make it 10 plus 2 is 12 right which is 2 here 2 so d10 plus 2 is that would be d12 so the data register d12 will be moved to destination register d let's do it d22 okay so and let's add d3 okay so what we are trying to achieve here is um, let's say why it is 10 and 2 will be adding 10 plus 2 okay this is 2 this is 22 plus 3 okay and this is three so you can see those things so basically you have a source register dtn that would be adding up uh, offset two okay so the final source register will be d12 okay and final destination would be 22 plus three okay so that would be 25 that's what we are trying to achieve okay let's begin by simulating this let's turn it off once already here 2 is moved to d1 I mean d2 3 is moved to d3 4 is moved to d4 if the value of d10 is let's say 5 and you are adding 2 5 and 2 that would be 7 would be moved to d 25 okay not to d22 that would be moved to d25 that's what we are trying to achieve uh, if we are doing the indirect move 
okay and let's say advanced function indirect move not okay so let's say you are moving D 25 and let's say D3 okay okay and what would be let's move that to D um, 30 and the offset would let's say choose 2 which would be D2 in our case okay so 25 plus 3 would be 28 okay and 30 plus 2 would be 32 okay i hope you understand that now but in this case this is not so it will begin from 32 and go down 31 32 and 31 okay in this case this would be 25 plus 3 is uh, 28 29 30 31 okay so starting with 31 the value of 31 will go to 32 and 31 uh, goes to so basically it will go in a reverse direction that's what it is all about okay and let's do let's draw a line here and move a block move okay this block move could be word and what about this uh young data sets young da data sets could be word integer double long and float okay so block move you are moving a data okay how many number of words how many numbers so let's say five okay five of the block let's not say let's say three two three and four okay so data register source d2 d3 and d4 okay how many number of block is three block and we, you will move that to let's say d 35 okay so you are basically using 35 to 36 37 okay so 2 3 and 4 okay so there would be three number of block okay so you'll be moving those values so 2 to 4 data register 2 to 4 the value will be transferred to d 35 36 and 37 okay the nw determines the number of block that has 16 bit word okay and let's add one more here and move we did the bit move so bit move you can choose the inputs you can choose the memory bit because there's a, those are the bits okay so let's say zero and you want to add yum zero yum one yum two three of those and then move that to yum uh, yum 25 okay and that would let's add that to and 3 okay 25 26 27 28 yum 0 1 2 yum 2 so the value of the yum 2 bits will be moved to yum 28 okay that would be the case because it's the indirect bit move this not the direct bit move so this offset has to be added to the data register address okay that's what's happening here since we do not have the yum zero currently okay okay so basically that will be moved to uh, d yum 2 to yum 28 that will be moved okay let's do one more which would be move function in direct move that would be the same n data sets n data repeat sets if you have a same number of data let's say 2.35 as a floating point data that's repeating all the time you can move that from one 
uh, one register to another this exchange list try exchange actually here we have to use another input because there is this four line four line of wrong one two three four if you have more than four this uh, PLC would not work if you want to try that we can actually delete this okay and um, let's add it here and move exchange okay and let's say exchange word from mm, that the easiest step would be d g d3 to d25 okay okay so the latter logic program failed because we have no because on line on wrong one line four the maximum number of ladder line per circuit is four it should be four we have five of those and it would not work okay that's the issue let's delete this already erase okay and deselect this Let's add a normally open contact here. Let's say this one be I2. Okay, and we want to do a repeat. So, how many? Maybe five. Starting at D2. I mean, D3. Starting and moving that to D. 39 okay 38 39 okay so basically the data value d3 will be moved to d39 starting 3 4 3 to 8 and 39 to plus 5 is 44 okay that's what we are trying to achieve already okay so d3 has the value of 3 and it will be moved to 39 okay and d3 will d4 d4 will be moved to d4 would be uh, 3 2 because it's the repeating data sets i mean that would be repeating all the time okay which means let's go this is yarn data repeat sets which means the data is repeating for five different register from d to d8 and that will be moved to d39 to d44 okay and that's all for today thank you so much for watching this tutorial i hope uh, you enjoy watching this tutorial and learn something as much as i have been spending time and learning and instructing you this course uh, if you have not subscribed my channel i would love to see you being subscribed Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next.